Hey guys, it's Sarah from IM.com, and today I am here with the chemical language from Israel. Hey, How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, I'm, I'm, my name is Mir. Um, I'm from Israel, I'm 25 years old. Uh, my, my project is a dubstep and electro house project all over the world. Um, yeah, and we're touring all over the world with like, electronic music and having fun. And that's very cool. What inspired the name Chemical Language? Oh, wow. Actually, um, actually it was um, it was an interview that I watched with Dr. Leary. Whatever, it's just a nice name for a chemical project and, and you know, dubstep sounds and, and all the show that I have with my gas mask and everything. So that's, that's kind of inspired me to have something like chemical language. It just sounds good. And how have you liked Warp so far? Any funny moments? Hell yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, a lot of funny moments. A lot of funny moments. If it's uh, you know, a crowd surfing or or just having fun and meet new people and performing in front of all those beautiful kids. I love it. I love it. Right. And what um, influenced you to go towards dubstep versus any other genre? Oh wow. Um, in the dubstep genre, of course, we always there is Skrillex and there is a lot of you know Roscoe and Skrillex and everyone else, and of course our my label that I'm signing straight up music in in Los Angeles, so a lot of a lot of collaboration with with other uh, musicians and always we keep ourselves up up to date you know with all the new things that's going on so yeah. Okay, and who has influenced you musically and personally? Personally? My mom. <laughs> I think my mom, yeah. Right. And how about musically? Musically, uh, a lot. I'm, me as a person, I'm also a producer, so I'm producing uh, almost any kind of genre. So, so from Jimi Hendrix and, you know, a lot of jazz artists uh, like Chick Corea and of course, electro electronic um, DJs like Tiesto, Armin van Buren, Hardwell, many, many, many. Almost, I'm influenced from everything. I think that that happened to me in every day in life. Right. And what has been your favorite song that you've produced? Oh wow, great question. <laughs> great question. Um, I think my my favorite song called Panic, Chemical Language Panic. And uh, this song got into the top 20 into the Beatport charts and iTunes charts. So I think, and a lot of other DJs did remix it and play it in many clubs all over the world. So I think that's my, my favorite. You should check that out, of course. All right, I definitely will. And what is your favorite song to perform live? Uh, right now in this tour, we have a song that's called Kind of Love, which is a uh, dubstep with R&B kind of feeling so that's my my favorite song that we are playing in this tour so far all the crowd is and the crowd love it so right. I love it okay and what can we expect from chemical language in the upcoming months ah wow so first of all we want to finish the tour of course to do warp tour and, and, and after that we go back to the road and keep to you know performing in all the clubs and nightclubs we are doing in Miami and Midwest in Chicago this year we're going to do Los Angeles and West Coast and Colorado a lot and keep writing music and performing, of course, that's, that's the main thing. Any recording in the future? Uh, yes, actually I own a studio recording wow. at home, so, all, so I work from home and most of the production happened in the late night time in, in the studio at, at home, right. with, sometimes with pajamas and, and stuff like that, so that's, that's, that's what's happening. Right. And what has been your favorite tour that you've ever done? Warp Tour. Absolutely. Nice. Good choice. Absolutely. Warp Tour. <laughs> All right. And next is this or that. I'm going to say two things and you pick one. Okay. Touring or recording? Recording. Indoor or outdoor concerts? Outdoor. Nice. All right. And if your life was a movie, what would be the title? Oh, wow. The Chemical Language. <laughs> <laughs> nice, good choice. All right, and last question. If you couldn't do dubstep or electronic and you had to choose another genre to do, which one would you choose? Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I think uh, maybe jazz or, you know, fusion jazz or something like that that have 
nice grooves and melodies and a lot of a lot of nice things. All right, so this has been my interview with Chemical Language. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.